I'm Guy Carpenter. I'm a reader in oral biology at the King's College London Dental Institute. So here in the Dental Institute, we do a range of studies looking at the properties of saliva and the functions of saliva. So saliva is a bit like tears for your eyes. It protects the mouth and protects the teeth and also facilitates um, eating, tasting, swallowing, these kind of important functions. When you exercise, you don't actually uh, produce any more saliva. It's really a change in the consistency that occurs. And we think that is one reason that it sort of makes the saliva thicker. I think there is a genuine reason why they do find a change in the mouth when they do a lot of high intensity competition, shall we say. So for people who are exercising a lot, I mean, definitely water is by far the best thing um, at rehydrating the whole body, of course. It's not terribly efficient at um, changing the mouth and that's possibly why uh, most of the time uh, we sort of drink anything that's acidic or astringent to try and change the feeling in the mouth and refresh the mouth if you like. Athletes should probably avoid that because when they are doing a lot of um, training or competition, a lot of exercise, then actually the mouth is quite susceptible to um, acidic drinks and um, there is a problem with sports drinks for example, acidic sports drinks causing erosion or dissolving of the teeth and so that that is certainly something that um, you know athletes should be aware of is that um, they could potentially be damaging their teeth by having acidic drinks to rehydrate. <laughs> 